Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James and uh, this is a dad's thing. Uh, I am on location uh, soccer Saturday. We are uh, winding down. This is the last of eight games for this winter select season. And um, I just wanted to, to come with a quick video um, and, and pretty much talk about um, whether or not winter select soccer is for you. And we had a fall season uh, and she was fortunate enough to be selected uh, to play in the winter select. Uh, this isn't club, so just want to let you know that there is a difference between a lot of the leagues that are run. Uh, this is a, a, a separate league than a, a club lead. So, league. So, if you are interested in finding out the differences, just do a little research. Um, that's not the purpose of this quick video. Break after that fall season, uh, we uh, went into our winter break, then came back uh, beginning of January to start this ten-week uh, season. And a couple of things that that came to mind when we signed up: a daughter was really excited, honored uh, to be selected, which was great. Um, so we wanted to support her. We wanted to get out here and uh, see, to, see what it was all about. Um, but a couple of things to consider. Um, a, when considering to play uh, for a select team, take a look at the numbers uh, for the roster. Do you have enough athletes to field uh, a full team, right? Because A, you have to practice um, on a weekly basis. It's really difficult to practice if you don't have enough players. Um, we are in a winter season um, and people are out uh, sick, you know, so you're going to have a couple of days where you're not going to have your full complement of players. What do you do? How do you make up for that uh, in your practice sessions? OK, again, a lot of these athletes are coming together for the first time. They have to take time to gel. And it's really difficult to do that uh, when you can't have full practices. So one. Uh, make sure that you have a full complement of players um, or know that that might be the situation where you don't have a full complement of players. The other thing with that is when it comes game time, um, it's really difficult when you don't have subs uh, and it's really, really difficult when you have to play a player or two down against another team. All right. So that's one. Uh, number two. Um, the weather. As a parent <laughs> sitting in the stands uh, in really, really inclement weather um, is really, really tough. Um, but also if your child isn't used to that um, or prepared for that, um, it could be a really, really bad experience for them. Um, practicing, you know, late at night, we practice start at 530. We're done at seven. Uh, it's dark. Fortunately, we got lights. But when that rain is coming down, it's super cold. You know, it might not lead um, to a great experience, especially for someone who's doing this for the first time. So consider that as well. Um, do uh, we want to be out here in this inclement weather? Is my child prepared, prepared for it? Are we prepared for it as parents? And the third thing I want to talk about is um, whether or not you want your child or if your child uh, needs a break, right? We started our fall season, which was great. We had success. Um, the girls gelled. Um, ideal weather right uh, then we had a short break we came back for the winter select season with not much time in between not only not much time in between but also playing the same sport I come from a, a philosophy of, of playing multiple sports in the fall I played football in the winter I played basketball and then when it came time for the spring, I was a track guy. So I played three different sports and um, that helped me stay in shape. It worked different muscles, but it also uh, did not allow me to have that mental fatigue, which um, I think has set in for my daughter a little bit. It's been a really, really long uh, season with these two things combined. Um, and I think, you know, she could have benefited greatly from playing uh, a different sport, taking a little bit of a break from soccer so that's you know my top three things to consider uh, when thinking about when to select soccer um, a do you have a full complement of players Two, um, what the weather looks like is your child mentally and physically prepared as well as your family uh, to uh, undergo a season where you can be out in really really inclement weather um, and then the last thing is um, hey what's your philosophy on youth athletics do you believe uh, multiple sports are more beneficial uh, to your child at this age or are you more on the 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 the, the thinking of uh, having specialties and some people believe in that you know like I said I'm a little bit old school I believe multiple sports 
um, is the way to go. But you live, you learn. And um, we'll be making some adjustments come the future. So uh, I hope that helps somebody out there when they're considering uh, youth athletics uh, for their children. Um, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, is youth, uh, is, is winter select soccer for you? Uh, are you a multi-sports uh, philosophy type of person? Would love to hear from you uh, in the comments below. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Um, appreciate all of the support. And uh, we'll be back with another video, uh, you know, in the future. Thanks, God bless, take care, and have a good one.